fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. No one could match his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness. But it was his sense of fair play that made him the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. The man who deserved a second chance could always count on the help of the Lone Ranger. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Tell us waiting on the trail ahead! Come on, Silver! Away! A solitary horseman was riding into the foothills west of the little town of New Hope. Except for his shirt, the man was dressed in black. A black Stetson shot of the face that, in spite of its intelligence, was obviously cruel. He wore a long black coat and black trousers that were tucked into high black boots. The man seemed in no great hurry, and contrary to the custom of most travelers in that district, he made no effort to hide himself. Suddenly, a second horseman raced from the cover of a pile of rocks and hailed the man in black. Hold on there. Oh, oh boy, hold there. Oh, boy, hold there. Oh, oh, boy. Going somewhere, Ross? How did you know my name? <laughs> Shucks, there weren't no short of figure. <laughs> Everybody's heard about that get-up of yours. All black, huh? Now, why would anybody want to wear duds like them? That's my business, Scalp. Huh? You know my name? <laughs> Shucks, that wasn't hard. Everybody's heard about you and your gang hiding out in the hills here. Scalp, why would anybody want to stick to the hills when there's fun to be had in town? You laughing at me, <laughs> mister? <laughs> Just thought I'd pay you back in your own coin. No offense, man. Yeah. Well, you're heading where you ain't wanted. You turn that horse around and skedaddle back in the direction you come. <laughs> and waste this trip? Yeah. I just rode out hoping to find you, Scalp. To find me? What for? Thought we might do a little business together. You savvy what you're saying, or you're just running off at the mouth? I know what I'm talking about. Ain't you the hombre that owns what they call the, the, the Western Land and Development Company? <laughs> well, I did. Well, then what business you got with me? Reckon you're savvy how I make my living. Sure. At the point of a gun. Which same will be pointing right at you in a second, fella, if you don't explain yourself pronto. Scalp, I can use you. What's more, if you'll do as I say, I'll pay plenty. You and your gang both, with profit. Yeah? What's the idea? I'm in a bad spot. Huh? I, uh... <laughs> well, to be frank, my friend, for once in my life, I was guilty of poor judgment. I made a mistake. Either that mistake is corrected, or I stand to lose a small fortune. Yeah, how? 
Ever heard of Judge Bagley? No. Well, it doesn't matter. It would surprise me if you had. As a matter of fact, he's an Easterner and a millionaire several times over. Oh. He's never been West, but he's interested in Western investment. Quit talking so fancy. Get to it or Van Moose. <laughs> well, Scalp, it's like this. Bagley wanted to buy Western land. I heard about it and got in touch with him. In short, a week ago, I sold him my land and development company with all the property to which it holds title. Oh, sounds like you maybe made a good deal. I did. Well, then where's your hauler? Just this. In order to sell him all my holdings, I had to include the land in Buffalo Basin. Well, that's where them farmers built this here town they call New Hope. Yes. When I told them they were on my property, they just laughed at me. They took the case to court. And I happen to know... Huh? The court is likely to decide against me. <laughs> then you didn't hold such good title to the basin after all. <laughs> it was good enough for my business. <laughs> I get you. But now... If that affair goes wrong, my sale to Bagley will be canceled. Which same you don't want to happen, huh? Well, what do you figure to do about it? The court won't hand down its decision for some time yet. Maybe a matter of months. Yeah. If, in the meantime, the people living in the basin could be forced out... It would be the same as if they'd admitted they'd just been squatters. My title would be upheld. Uh-huh. That's where you come into this. Oh, I do, huh? Well, how? The basin is worthless without Buffalo Creek. Uh-huh. Buffalo Creek rises in the mountains there to the west. It isn't far from here. I'll pay you to take your men and dam that stream so that it never reaches the basin at all. Well, that's all you want, huh? Ain't you forgetting something? What? Them farmers ain't gonna like that. The creek dries up, and they're soon gonna find out why. And then what do you think will happen? There's no law in this territory worth bothering about outside the state capital. You should know that. Sure, but they These won't. These people in the basin are farmers, not fighting men. They'll talk, and they'll threaten, and they'll call protest meetings, but they'll never raise a hand or fire a gun. <laughs> you can take my word for that. Uh-huh. Maybe. How much is this worth to you? We can discuss that when you say you're interested. Are you in a hurry to get back to town, mister? Not particularly. Why? Camp ain't far from here. You come along. Does that mean... That I'm interested? <laughs> mister, you bet it does. You coming? Lead the way. Kino. Get up there. Get up there. Come get up. on. Get up there. In the same hill that gave shelter to Scalp and his band of outlaws, three other men had taken refuge. They were practically strangers, and late that evening, as they sat around a small campfire, their conversation was terse and guarded. But gradually they lost their restraint, until at last each had told the story of his past. When they had finished, there was a long silence, until the man who called himself Jake Wimple stirred the fire and then turned to the others. Fellas, it's... It's a funny thing. What, Jake? Well, first of all, the way the three of us met. And then... Well, and then I'm finding out that we're all of us in just about the same boat. It is funny, ain't it? Yep. Take you, for instance, Sandy. I've been around a lot. Reckon I can tell an honest man from a crook as quick as anybody. You and Dick are honest, if my judgment goes for anything. Thanks, fella. Jake, we figure you the same way. Uh-huh. But here we are. Folks back where I come from got me pegged for rustling. I ate and never was. But I couldn't prove it in a million years. <laughs> well, you travel about 800 miles due north, and they'll tell you I killed the best friend I ever had. And Sandy says the law's got him down for a bandit. I never even had a... <laughs> Yuck, Sandy. You ain't no outlaw, we know it. We know it just like you know Dick ain't no killer. But it so happens that none of us can prove he ain't guilty as charged. We'll never prove it. We, uh, we ain't outlaws, but we're... Well, I don't know what you'd call us. <laughs> Outcast. Yeah? Sure, that's the word for it. We're cast out. Decent folks won't have nothing to do with us. We'll never find a place where we can settle in peace. No matter where we are, we'll always be heading for someplace else. 
Here, and if we don't, we'd be caught up with. Yeah, get a job and never be able to sleep quiet for fear someone will come along that knew you before. Keep moving to cover our trails, knowing we're making new trails all the time. I don't like it. I was hoping to find me a little place in some green valley where a fella... Could build yourself a cabin and run a few cars and live the life of Riley, sure. <laughs> Once upon a time, I had them same dreams myself. Well, it's a funny world where a fella can't go honest when he wants. Uh, can't find himself a home. And if he found one, couldn't keep it. Well, parts, that's the way things are. We'll have to learn to make the best of them. We ain't no choice. You never know. Sometimes we get surprises. Sure, but the fix we... Hey, who said that? What? I did. A mess, man. Where the dick is No you... need to be alarmed. You can't No bust... need to reach for your guns. I'm not an enemy. I'm a friend. Stranger hiding out in the hills don't make us friends to crooks. But I'm not a crook. Uh, you say that and keep your face covered? Dick, you said your home is 800 miles due north. Right. I happen to know it is because I followed your trail that entire 800 miles. Hey, what you say? What are you... I know that you were accused of killing your best friend. Now, now listen. Wait. I know that you're innocent. Hmm? But I also know, as you said, your innocence can never be proven. The evidence is too strong. Mister, I don't savvy this. Who are you? If you're telling the truth, what are you following Dick for? What's your game, anyhow, huh? I won't answer your first question. Well, then why don't but you... I will answer the others. I was certain Dick was innocent. I wanted to find him to make sure he wouldn't turn outlaw because of the injustice he had suffered. Well, that's funny talk. But true. So you say. How do we know it? You don't. And what do you but expect? But you will. I promise you that. Oh. I've been in this neighborhood almost a week trying to pick up Dick's trail. Yeah? In that week, I learned that certain things are going on in this district, which will end in trouble just as sure as the three of you are camped here beside this fire. Trouble? Yes. Maybe you'll learn that even trouble sometimes can bring some good. You're talking in riddles. Because for the present, I must. Here, Silver. Here, old fella. Well, hey, look at that But when the time here. comes, I'll speak more plainly. Hip, and if you listen, you won't lose. Yes, yeah, stranger, but then... Come on, Silver. Hey, wait. Hold on there. Come on, old fellow. Come on. Well, I'll be... You ever see the beat? Fellas, I don't know. Huh? Maybe everything I've claimed ain't so. Maybe I ain't the judge I figured to be. What do you mean, Jake? Fellas, that hombre was masked. And he weren't wearing them two guns of his just for ornaments. But listen, everything I thought I ever knew is wrong. That hombre's on the square. The Dickens today. Gotta find out what's up. Come on, we're gonna see what's wrong. This might be some of Ross's work, and we're gonna find out. Oh, you got it. It. Look there, Tutter. Uh, Nisi him. Every man in the basin is gathered in town. Them heap man, too. For a very good reason. Without the creek, this basin will be worthless for farming inside a season. Ah. Oh, wait. What matter? See that horseman? He just came from the direction of the hills. Look there. He's pulled up by the group of men. He's telling them something. He's pointing back the way he came. Yes. Now they're all looking in that direction. Uh, what do you think him tell? That shouldn't be difficult to figure, Kimasabe. Uh-huh. We know they sent out several men to learn the cause of the blast. Um, that's right. They've had time to reach the source of Buffalo Creek and to return again. Uh-huh. And I have an idea that man's one of them. He knows what's happened. He knows why the creek's dry. He's telling his friends. Uh, Tonto think you are right. You know what that means, Tonto? Uh, them make fight. Yes. Right after outlaw. With old muskets hardly good enough for shooting game. Against a band of men who spent half their lives learning the art of murder. Uh-huh. Those farmers aren't fighters. Mm, not right. They've only their courage. Uh. And courage alone isn't enough. Now it's time we took a hand. Uh. Follow me. Where we go? Back to our friends, the outcasts. Come on, Silver. Hit him up, Scout. Hit him, Silver. Away! <laughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. After the Lone Ranger rode away, Jake Wimple, Sandy Saunders, and Dick Porter lost no time in changing the location of their camp and... Uh, I reckon I'll spread my blankets here. Yeah, what you were saying, Jake, is just about the way I figured. Maybe that masked man is on the level, but we can't take that chance. Better for us to make ourselves scarce. Uh, here's some dry wood. <laughs> yep, Dick, it's better to be safe than sorry. But I'm wondering about something. Yeah. That armor didn't look to me like a fellow that's easy put off. You know what I think? What's that, Sandy? I think if that masked gent really wants to locate us again, he'll do it. That's just the way <laughs> it strikes me. <laughs> You're right, Sandy, and I can prove it. Huh? Because there he comes now. Well, Say. Hey. Go on. Come on. Well, I'll be switched. But this time, he's got a redskin with him. Which same is likely the reason he picked up our trail against Easy. Well, he ain't going to take us by surprise this time. I'm Dick, going to... Dick, don't be a doggone fool. Drop that gun back to your holster. But he's coming... He ain't acted unfriendly yet, has he? No, but And just if for... he was looking for trouble, you figure he'd be injured enough to ride up like he is, making all that noise? He wanted us to see him. That's right, Dick. <laughs> Wipe off that war paint. Well... All right. Hello there. Stand up. What do you want? Oh, 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 You say saddle up? That's exactly what I said. And don't waste time. But look here, stranger. You said you were tired of being outcast. We are. You said you wanted homes, a place where you'd be welcome and safe. Yeah, have your fun, mister. We can't stop you. And I was mistaken. You didn't mean those things. It was talk and nothing but talk. No, mister, don't get us wrong. We just don't savvy what you're up to. If you don't find out, hey. saddle those horses yes, and that... ride with me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the farmers of New Hope had armed themselves as best they could. They realized that their muskets were no match for outlaw rifles. But trusting to their numbers and charged with determination... They leaped to their saddles and headed for the mountains. Get up. Get up there. Get up. Follow me, fellas. We're with you, Lloyd. We got a ways to ride yet. But keep your guns handy. And when we get there, blast the crooks to kingdom come. Get up. Get up there. Get up there. On they raced through the foothills. The purple haze faded from the mountains. The ground became rocky, the trail broken. But the farmers never slackened their pace. Light, how much farther? Up this rise, across some flats, through a canyon, and then we're almost there. The quicker we get there, the better. Get up, get along now. Get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Can you get light? Right. Get up. Get up there. I figure them crooks are hiding in some woods not far from where the creek starts. Get there soon? A uh, half hour, maybe. Ready up. What's that? Hey, hey who's that? Oh, oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. 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 One move and we'll shoot. It's a masked man. He's pointing two guns. He's up above. There's another fellow up there. And another. Must be Scalp's whole gang. Come on, let's find a way out. Can't. Ain't got a chance. They'd blast us down, we'd never hit them. We'll get you, Scalp. I don't care what you call yourself. You and them crooks damned our crick. 
We come to see the crooks allowed to run the way it should, and you ain't going to stop us. Oh. We already have. For now. Which is all that's necessary. But there'll be another day. You're making a mistake. We don't care what you think. Ben and I are your friends. We don't expect you to believe that. So we're taking this way to help you. Oh, get away. You think you're going to get away with this now? Quiet. Quiet, I tell you. Now listen to me and listen carefully. Well, what choice we got? While we have you covered, none. And then go ahead. You and your friends meant to challenge Scout Stacy's gang. Yeah? <laughs> you would have lost. Maybe half of you would have returned to your homes alive. Maybe not. Talk away, mister. But you ain't fooling us none. Think what you wish. You bet we will. But a friend of mine is climbing down there. What's that? He's taking your guns and horses. Hey, you can't get away with that. And if you make a move to prevent it, get ready to stop Red. All right, Pato, get down there. From their cover, high on the rim of the canyon, the Lone Ranger and the three outcasts watched Tonto as he made the perilous descent. When he finally reached the floor of the canyon, and it was impossible to follow all his movements without venturing into the open, Sandy became impatient. Careful, Sandy. Don't let them get a good look at you. You may get shot. I'm just trying to see how near finish Tonto is. I can see him. What's he doing? He's got their guns and horses all right. Now he's tying the horses together so he can lead them all at once. Yes? He's almost finished. Let us know when he pulls out. Well, you likely hear him. Then what do we do? Carry out the rest of our plan. Ride to where Scalp and his men are holed up. You mean without waiting for Tonto? He'll join us in time. He knows what to do. What's he going to do? We want those farmers to be in on the finish. Oh, sure. Unless their horses are returned, they can't be. You mean... When enough time's elapsed, Tonto will release the horses. And these fellows will be mounted again. Oh, Aye, I think he's about set. Well, there he goes. He's safe away. Right. Then come into the saddle. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Silver. Hurry, boy. Hurry. Come here. What's the matter? We're just looking at the creek there. Well? It's rising quite a bit where it's dammed up. What'll happen when it starts to flow over? Eh, don't worry. It won't follow its old course. It can't. Not unless all that earth is washed out. Oh. Let me worry about that. You keeping a good watch? For them farmers? Who else? Oh, sure. Now, they couldn't get close less than the, uh... They crossed that clearing, could they? No. <laughs> then they ain't got a chance to take us by surprise. <laughs> you go on back and sit down. We'll watch after things. Hello there. What? Hello there. It's a masked man. Where did he come from? Hello, Get back. You're not wanted here. Get back. Mister, you keep your distance. I've got my hands in the air. You? There's at least 15 of you. And I'm alone. I'm coming there to talk. Get back. Afraid? He can't hurt a scalp. Let him come. I heard that, Ross. I was coming anyhow. Now talk careful, mister. Maybe you wish you was about a thousand miles from here. Yes? Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Get down. Keep your hands hoisted. Yep. <coughs> you a scalp? Yeah, that's me. Now, what do you want? I'll talk with you. All right, talk. <laughs> only... Yes? Only recollect this, mister... You came here of your own free will. We didn't ask you to, so... So uh, what? <laughs> so don't start hollering if afterwards we decide it ain't safe to leave you go again. Oh, that's the way you want it, then. Huh? Uh, you talk big with men behind your back, Scout. Why, you... But I wonder if you can act as big as you talk. Hey, just what you mean by that? This! Uh, oh! And this! Oh! Uh, Shoot the mask down! Hand. We'll hit you. Grab him! Get the coyote! That'll be enough, you skunks! Reach for the sky! Oh, get blown to glory! Wreck! You blind fools! While the masked man was fighting with Scalp, you let these men get into camp! You're right, Ross. I tell and you. Now you and these hired killers of yours will repair the damage you've done or get ready for Boot Hill.
We'll fix that mask, man. There they are, Lodge. And the masked man's with them. Come on, fellas. Rush them. If we ain't got guns, we got them outnumbered. Let's go. Get a light. They see us, but they ain't shooting. What's up? Hey, look there. The crest. Back in its channel again. Well, I'll be doggone. It's the masked man. He said to come ahead. Yeah. And those fellows with him are holding guns on Ross and the whole gang of crooks. But that would mean that they were... They weren't lying to us. They did mean to help us. Pull up, fellas. Pull up. Oh, 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 there. Uh, Spring them crooks up. Hold on. Hold on, I say. We've been waiting for you. Line. Huh? I think Ross here has something to say you'll find interesting. What's that? Ross, go ahead. Men, uh, I've got to get that land you hold in the basin. I've got to. I have no choice. I, I took this way to get it, and the masked man spoiled the whole thing. And you're due to hang. Yeah. Let Ross finish. If you men will vacate that land, I'll pay you twice what it's worth. Five times as much. Oh. I'll pay you ten times its value. But you've got to sell. If I were you, Lige, I'd advise my friends to take him up on that. You can move on a hundred miles and find land as good as what you've got. And put money in the bank besides. Why didn't Ross offer that in the first place? Because he thought he'd try crooked means before honest. Well, if he'll pay... Well, I... I will. I promise I will. And it sounds good to me. Me too! There's one thing more. Huh? These men who helped me, and by helping me, helped you... Well, what about them? Dick, Sandy... Jake, step over here. Yeah, here we are. Lige, they helped you when they had no homes in Buffalo Basin. They had no property to lose. When they rounded up these fellows, they had nothing to gain. And they might have lost their lives. Oh, well, we didn't They're know men anything. without homes. They've been hounded by the law for crimes they hadn't committed. But they deserve far more than they've received. Say, you fellas looking for a place to settle down? Lige, we sure are. You think you could like me and my friends here? <laughs> well, you fellas look fine to me. Then you're coming with us. We owe you plenty. And you'll get your share of what Ross pays. But maybe you don't savvy, <laughs> mister. We... Hold on, young fella. I savvy plenty. And this is what I was going to add. Yeah? Throw in with us and you won't be bothered. You won't have to answer no questions. The law comes looking for you. <laughs> we'll send it hightailing out. That sound good to you? Sure does. Does. <laughs> Then shake, friends. It's a bargain. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> 